Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. The First Coast cheered on this Navy veteran from Jacksonville who climbed his way up to the finals of The Voice. And tonight, Paris Winningham is opening up about how he almost didn't make it onto the show and the lessons we can all learn from him. Yeah, that felt good. It's a voice that resonates. Harris Winningham started singing in church when he was just seven years old, and he hasn't stopped. It's been a part of me ever since I was young. My dad always said, you know, you've always been reaching for a microphone. He auditioned for a spot on NBC's The Voice twice and never got a call back. He almost didn't audition a third time, but his dad talked him into it. I went downstairs after getting myself together. I flicked on my phone and set it up and did everything I needed to do. And I auditioned. I did one take, and I was getting ready to re-record it because I was like, ah, I can do it better. But I just heard his voice was like, nope, that's it. Send it. The 33-year-old landed a spot on the hit show where America watched him battle his way to the top three. But just a year earlier, it was a much different battle he was fighting. I look at my life a year ago. I attempted suicide a year before I even started, you know, really honestly digging in and, and, and taking this, this voice thing serious. And I had my, my, my gun up to my chin and I was going to pull the trigger. He's opening up to let others struggling know they're not alone. I used to say, you know what? No, I'll never get in that dark place. I'll never be that dark. I'll never be that deep in depression where it'll take me there. Never say never, because you never know what, what life is going to bring. Paris is now using his soulful voice to spread hope. I was in a dark place to come from there and be where I am now. I'm a living testimony that you can be in a dark place, but just because you're there, does not, that does not define who you are. Grounded by faith and family, the lyrics of his life are words he wants you to remember. There's always hope. In a weird way, gives me strength now, because now I can look back on it and say I was there. You know, and the beautiful thing is I don't look like what I've been through. For anyone contemplating suicide, he has this message. It takes more of a man to open his mouth and say, I need help, than to sit there and, and just drown yourself in, in your sorrows and, and in your pain. Man, get up and talk to somebody. So you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. He's using his new platform to strike a chord at a time when the country faces a mental health crisis, and so many need hope. I can be a testimony and I can be a help and I can be an encouragement to those people that have been in dark places and have been in hard times, you know, and um, I, that's why I take this so seriously. And Anthony, mm. he is truly a voice of hope. He told me it took him a long time to even be able to talk about his struggles, but he knows that someone listening right now needs to hear his story. And when you feel like you're about to throw in the towel, he says that's when your breakthrough is probably right around the corner. So don't give up. That's right. Never give up. If you or someone you know is struggling, there are resources out there. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline anytime at 1-800-273-8255. That phone number is right here on your screen.